Glendale police are searching for four mass suspects who are responsible for shooting a homeowner in his leg and then ransacking his home. It all happened early this morning as the man was getting up to go to work. 12 News journalist Sean Rice spoke with a neighbor who helped that man call 911. Sean. Hey, Mark and Tram, good evening to you. That neighbor tells us she was awoken at 4.30 this morning to someone frantically ringing her doorbell asking her family for help. Glendale police tell us the victim was simply getting up to go to work this morning when four masked suspects shined a bright light directly in his face. Much to his surprise, the bright light was attached to the top of a handgun, which was then used to shoot him in the leg as he tried to get away. Now, Glendale police tell us they're searching, still searching for who is responsible for such a brazen act of violence. I heard like really loud like bang sounds and I like first thought that it was like gunshots. Justine Alvarado lives right next door to a Glendale home that became a crime scene early Thursday morning. Their street lined with shell casings after their neighbor was threatened with a gun by four suspects. He initially uh, made statements that he thought that it was one of his friends just messing around with them early in the morning. Uh, at which time he kind of shoved the flashlight out of his face. Police say a fight ensued, and as the homeowner was running away, he was shot in the leg. Alvarado says he ran to her house to ask for help. Well, he seemed super scared, and he said that if we could call the cops because he got shot in the leg, and he didn't know like where the people went or anything, but he was still like yelling at them and stuff. After he got away, police say at least two of the suspects went inside his home, harassed a woman who was sleeping inside, and then started to ransack the home, taking various items from it. Police say the victim told them he has no idea who would target he or his home. Yeah, his, his claims of maybe not knowing anybody, uh, you know, that maybe he hasn't thought of it yet or just not sure. They obviously may have had a, you know, case in the place. They know his uh, schedule, that he comes out early in the morning, does that type of thing, so that, that's very possible. After the shooting, police say the suspects fled in an unknown direction. Alvarado is hoping these masked criminals don't return to what is a usually safe neighborhood. We never know if they can come back and like do it again or something. But yeah, and like it's never really, nothing really bad like happens around this area. So. Glendale police tell us the victim who was shot was taken to the hospital where he was treated and then shortly released thereafter. Police describe this case as all the more puzzling because they have not had any recent incidents in this area or in the city of Glendale where someone is met outside their home with a handgun pointed directly at them. They told us today and described it as, quote, scratching their heads to find out who is behind it all. Reporting live tonight in Glendale, Sean Rice, 12 News.